Hi everyone, this is Nancy and I am here to show you how to foil with Crafty Krita Toner Foil and the Crafty Krita Foil Art. And the idea is to teach you how to take these beautiful toner printed images and run them through your mink or your laminator machine so you can get beautiful foiling like this. Okay, so let's get started. Let me tell you a little bit about Crafty Krita. Crafty Krita is a company based out of Australia. They do ship worldwide. They do accept PayPal. And remember, there is a conversion of dollars when it goes from Australian dollars to US dollars. It is a little bit cheaper. Um, but they sell textile foil and craft foil. Both of these foils work, work perfectly on their foil art. And again, you can use a mink machine or a laminator. I will advise to use a mink machine. If you have a laminator, make sure your laminator heats up for at least 30 minutes. And they have over 45 different kinds of foils in many different colors and holographic embed. So you definitely want to check that out. And the website is Crafty crita.com. All right. And I will link everything down below for you. So I'm going to bring out some of their new release here. These are the foil art slim line, and we're going to use a variety of their foils and we're going to make some beautiful card panels here. So the number one question I get asked is how do you, um, you know, make sure that you get good foiling. So there's a couple of hints. Number one, everything comes packaged in these plastic bags. So either your foil is in a plastic Ziploc bag or your foil art is in a plastic bag. You want to keep dust away. So dust is the enemy. You want to make sure you have some kind of a soft brush. This is just a soft makeup brush that you can use to wipe the dust away. Do not use any kind of anti-static tool, um, anything else, just a soft brush or a soft microfiber cloth. And we are going to foil one of these cool funky psychedelic designs here oh here we go I like that one and this came out of package p0004 and then you'll see once I remove my foil art I'm going to put it back in its packaging to keep it from getting scratched um, and these are high quality toner images. So this paper is a very thick cardstock. It's pretty hardy. And you can see that super dark black toner printed image. And it has to be toner printed, which means it comes from a laser printer. So yes, it has to be a laser printed toner image. It cannot be um, anything that's like um, from an inkjet printer. And I'm just gonna grab a solid color here. Here we go. This is called Deep Sea Blue. And the way that I cut my foils, you can cut with scissors, you can cut with a trimmer. I'm just gonna line this up. And I use a rotary trimmer. And then there is going to be a little bit of excess foil. We're going to keep that excess foil because we can use that for sentiments or small pieces if we need to correct anything. We're gonna put our foil back in the bag again, keeping it safe from scratches and dust. And before we put this in our carrier sheet, now I do use a carrier sheet when I'm using my mink machine and I'm using a mini mink and I have it set on setting number three. So before we put that in there, we are going to dusty dusty. So we wanna dust off our toner image and we want to dust off the back side of the foil or the non-shiny side, the dull side of the foil, okay? All right, and then we are going to put that face down onto the foil. We want to make sure all of the toner is covered. And I'd like to just smooth these out, make sure I don't see any wrinkles or bumps. Now, I do see a small dust spot right there, and it'll be a little microscopic particle of dust that... We're not going to see with our naked eye, but I promise you when you go to foil this, that little spot will stick out. And it is right there, so we'll see here. All right, so now that everything's dusty, dusty, we are going to put it in our protective sheet here. This is a specifically designed carrier sheet for the mink machine. If you are not using a mink machine, do not use these carrier sheets. All these do is keep everything sandwiched together so that you don't have to tape anything. It keeps the foil on top of the carrier sheet. 
And again, I'm using the mini mink, so mine is on setting three. If you're using the larger Big Mama mink, experiment with your machine. Normally two or three work well. Sometimes we need to go to four if we don't get full coverage. Sometimes if it's too hot, you may need to lower your heat to two, but you'll need to practice in this particular machine. For me, three is my best setting. And I'm gonna hold this as I gently feed it through the middle. You always wanna put the folded side of your carrier sheet in first. Um, if you're going to use a laminator, there are a couple things you need to know. You need to make sure that your laminator has heated up for at least 30 minutes. Laminators that have a three milliliter or five milliliter setting, you want the five milliliter setting. And the difference between a mink and a laminator is a mink gets super hot and it provides pressure. And as you can see, you can change your setting from no heat to super hot heat. That's what's fun about the mink is it was specifically designed for foiling. So I will always recommend a mink over a laminator. But if all you have right now is a laminator, certainly try it out and see how it works. Put it on the hottest setting and let it warm up for a minimum of a half an hour and use a folded piece of either parchment paper or copy paper to feed your um, foil and your foil art through. Okay, so once this comes through, you have to be patient and you have to let it cool down because if you open this right away, the foil may not adhere properly. So we're just gonna let that cool down a second. While that's cooling down, we're gonna bring in another panel here. And I'm gonna show you guys the really cool clear foils that they have. Let me bring in something with a little bit more solid image here. So these are P or T0022, T0022. And we have these cool hearts. You can see the designs here. And I am going to cut the hearts in half here. I'm just gonna cut that at four inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in a piece of the clear foil. We have three different types of clear foil. The clear foil works best on solid toner images like you see here. Did I get my fingerprints on there? I think I did. All right, and then when you're using this foil, for me, I do mark the foil with a little B there so that I know it's on the right direction. See the little B? Okay. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of that. There you can see my letter, my letter B a little better. I'm just going to use scissors to cut this. And usually this piece of foil can be used a few times. It's not like your traditional foil. And, of course, we're going to dusty, dusty. All right, and folded edge is going to go through the mink first, right through the middle of the machine. Hold that for a few seconds until I see it come out the back side, and then I'll be able to let it go. Okay, and let me reveal this one to you guys real quick. So now that this is nice and cool, we're going to peel this. And we want to save this piece of foil. That's the negative foil, but look how cool that is. <laughs> very cool, very pretty. All right, so we're going to save these two pieces. Let's bring in another one. So this is called toner or mink foiling. This is not the same as hot foiling. This is very simple, very easy to do. Um, like I said, all you need is a very hot laminator or a mink machine. You can use the mini mink machine. You can use the larger mink machine. They have a ton of cool designs. Here's one that's a little bit more grungy looking. Let's bring these in and see what this brick looks like. So if you're into shabby chic, 
can definitely do some foiling with that. Let's see, do I have a dark red? I do have a dark red. So we have this, which is called Lava Flow. This one had some cool little designs embedded into it. I haven't even opened this one yet. The sticker's still on it. Bring my carrier sheet in. I'm going to dusty, dusty my project. Dusty, dusty the back of the foil. Lay that foil down on top. Now I might have a little bit of a... Um, sometimes when there's a sticker, it doesn't foil completely there because of the thickness of the sticker, but we'll see here. Because this is a grungy image, I'm really not going to worry about it. A distressed looking style again folded side of the folder will feed through the mink the mini mink is a six inch opening the larger mink is a 12 inch opening if you're going to be doing any kind of laminating you may want to go in with the full size mink so here is the clear foil and I know you guys can see it now see those little facets of colors now let's reveal so this foil I can use over again I have it marked B, so I know that this is the correct way. And you can see all of that cool holographic shattered glass clear foil look on there. Isn't that neat? You can also use that clear foil on foil card. And foil card is just a cardstock that already has foil on it. And here I've taken that clear foil and put it on regular foil card and it's transferred beautifully and I can now die cut from these. So very, very cool to use that clear foil for those things as well. All right, let's let this one cool a second and then we'll take a look at that. Pick another design and then also with the other design, I will show you guys how to um, foil the negative. And the negative is just the extra piece of foil that we pull off. So I'll show you guys that. Let's do this with this little stitched leaves. Let me reveal this one. Wow, that is so neat. That actually is completely 100% foiled. And because we use that neat holographic foil, it has these little glistens of holographic pops to it. Let's see if I can get the camera to pick it up there. You can see it. And that is 100% foiled, you guys. That just shows you the good quality of print that you're getting on these toner images from this company and how good their foils are. So let's do this one. Let's pick a cool green. And of course, with 45 different colors of foil, you can use whatever you want in your heart's content. Oh, this is my new favorite. This is called Rainforest. And it also has that cool embedded design in the foil. They have plain foils, they have satin finish foils, they have these holographic foils, they have foils with sequins and glitter and all kinds of cool stuff in them. So you definitely want to check them out. And I will say they do respond very quickly with shipping. 
So don't fear. Um, it, it doesn't take three months to get your package. I would say on average, it's three to four weeks. They ship super quick. It's just waiting on customs if you're in the U.S. And of course, if you're in Australia, you'll have it in no time. So we're going to dusty, dusty our image. We're going to dusty, dusty the back of the foil. We're going to layer that together. Make a little foil sandwich here. And again, place that in our carrier sheet. We want to make sure no toner is sticking out. That's all perfectly covered. And again, if you're using a laminator, you just want to put it through a piece of folded paper or folded parchment paper. We're going to hold on to this a sec while we feed it through just to make sure it feeds through straight. Once it comes out the other end, I can let go. All right, and then I'm going to show you guys what to do with the waste foil. So they sell what's called toner sheets. And these toner sheets, when you look at them, if you're new to foiling, you're like, what is this? Why is it completely black? Well, what this allows you to do is to reuse your foil negatives. And I'll show you what I mean. A lot of people call it waste foil. You can also die cut these after you foil them. So I'll just show you already. So you guys remember we did that brick pattern. We're gonna dust off our toner sheet. So this is 100% toner, which means anything that the foil touches on there will transfer. So I'm gonna try to line this up to match our image as best as I can. So we have a full sheet here. If you want to do any kind of die cut images, this is what you wanna to use to die cut. Now, there's a little bit hanging off the edge here. Don't worry about that. It's not going to hurt anything. We just want to make sure as it feeds through the machine that that is the folded sheet that's going through there. And we're going to show another one right here. So this is nice and cool now. And as I reveal this, we have these really cool 100% foiled stitched leaves with that holographic design in there. And this is good quality paper. Now, if you don't like the background color, you can very easily ink blend on this paper with your dye inks. You can see that cool holographic effect in the leaves. Now we have this piece of foil that we pulled off. So we call this the waste foil or the excess foil. Don't throw this away because we can give this another life. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that full toner sheet, again, dusty, 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 dusty the back of our foil. And we're going to try to line this up on there. Well, this foil did wrinkle a little bit. If you get a lot of wrinkling, turn your heat down on your mink. Now we're gonna feed this through. We're reusing reusing that foil. So here is the one we did with the brick wall. Now this is 100% foil. This can now go in the garbage. We have used all of the foil off of that piece that is usable, so we don't need this anymore. This is garbage. But now we have two foiled pieces out of one piece of foil. So this was the foil art we foiled, and then we took that scrap piece of foil and foiled it over a toner sheet. So we have two panels out of one piece of foil, and we are going to do it again with this sheet, which is almost done foiling. So when you purchase your foil art, look at all of the different designs they have. They have the new slimline designs. They have regular card front sizes. They have um, sentiments, so many cool things. And if you have a scan and cut machine, they have cut files for your sentiments that will work in your scan and cut machine. 
I'll do another separate video on that. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to do toner or mink foiling with toner printed designs. And these are quality toner printed designs on very good cardstock, which is also able to be ink blended from craftycrita.com. Now let's reveal this one. One hundred percent perfectly foiled. This now goes in the trash, and we have the original foil art, which was printed. This came out of kit P zero 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 seven. There you can see it was a black and white printed toner image. We foiled it once, and again the foil that we used was called Rain Forest F zero zero two three. And then we took that waste foil and we foiled it on top of the toner printed slimline. And so we got two panels out of that. So you want to definitely stock up on these. These are great. 16 sheets in here, P0017. All of the slimlines also have 16 sheets. You get four of each design. I can't even show you guys how many designs they have. There are just so many wonderful designs. Definitely go check them out. And of course, they have regular size panels as well. Um, and many, 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 many different colors, 45 different colors of foil. Go check them out. Again, the name of the company is Crafty Critta. You want to search under foil products, and these are called Foil Art, and they also have the foils. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will put the link for you guys so it's easier to find. If you have any questions, post them below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye-bye.